And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 68 bard quest in Final Fantasy XIV. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here in Castamor Ren in the Fringes at 810. And we need to talk to Sanson. The quest is called Sleeping True's Lie. So Sanson is on the verge of making a decision on the tome. So the instant we had Gilbard's journal to headquarters, the truth of Valchanov's death is all but guaranteed to be struck from history. Um, I fought long and hard on a course of action, but what we should do with the tome, um, and I believe I'm drawing close to the answer. Before I make my decision, however, I would ask your honest opinion. Do you think the sordid truth of the Autumn War should be made public knowledge, even should it jeopardize our relations with Alamigo? Make it public knowledge. I would I would make it public because basically people get over it. It's better than lying because it will be a much bigger scandal if people find out the lie later. An upright choice from an upright woman. Though uh, Norval's motives and methods are inconceivable, I one cannot deny that there is justice in pursuing truth. Thank you, Mifri. As the leader of our unit, I am now ready to make my decision. Let's find Guide a lot. He will wish to hear it too. Okay, the so guide lot is just at the other end of town where he always is. Talk to him. Uh, so you made your up your mind then about what to do with the truth. I have. I shall go to the Adder's Nest and entrust the journal to our superior's care. Above all, we cannot allow it to be used as an instrument of hatred. Um, having said that, neither will I stand for the truth to be erased. I will oppose any attempt to do so with all my being. Um, I'm not sure I understand. Uh, what do you want to do exactly? I will hand over the journal, on the condition that the truth be revealed one day, when the people are ready to accept it. Uh, call me indecisive, but I cannot bear to see the tone misused, nor the truth willfully buried. Well, well, look at you. Uh, Sanson the Stiff, standing his ground. Uh, goes without saying that I'm with you, Chief. Um, ain't... No one, sorry, gonna exploit our history, or sorry, let me read that again. Ain't no one gonna exploit or raise history on my watch. Thank you, my friends, for trusting in me. Uh, don't let it get to your head, though, eh? Um, had your decision not been to my liking, I would have knocked you flat on your ass and uh, resigned from your swiving unit. So much for you decide. Never change quite a lot. Uh, Captain Sanson, right? Some fellow asked me to pass the letter to you. Uh, this is from Norval. Uh, the journal is yours to do as you wish, but ere you take it away, I will speak with Mifri and Mifri alone. One last time, I wait you in Dimwold by the Percipient uh, One. Um, oh, this reeks. Tell me it don't. Uh, but if this ain't a trap, uh, why would Norval um, ask for the strongest of all of us? He may truly have something important to say. And conversely, I would also offer us a chance to convey our intent. I am loath to expose you to danger, my friend, but will you go to this meeting? I don't like the idea of you going alone, but that would defeat the purpose of the meeting. At the first sign of danger, though, get out of there fast, alright? Alright, so let's go to the... Uh, Percipient one. Okay, so we made it. We have a fight on our hands. 
I've always got my trusty chocobo to help me out. Oh, jeez. Of saying that I'm stronger than you. Okay, so I need to go back and talk to Guide a lot. Okay, so we are back. So, ah, you're back. But where's Sanson? Another letter arrived right after you left. Ask for him to come as well. You're really alone then? Uh, swipe me. You were just the di diversion. Sansom was a real target. Um, I thought um, it would be alright seeing as you would be there, but I should have gone as well. God strike me down for a fool. Um, if you didn't see Sansom, then they must have nabbed him on the way to Dimwald. Come on, we have to find him. Uh-oh. So, let's catch up and let's look for Sansom. Okay, we caught up with him. So Sanson's book was lying here. They left a message in blood, the god's damn uh, mummies. Uh, we have your friend. Uh, we will send our pride to the Adder's Nest. That poor son can take his ransom and shove up his ass. Uh, we're going to storm their hideout, tear them all new ones, and free Sanson. You want to keep calm? Damn it, Bifri, how can you always be so calm? It's downright contagious, and you're right, of course. If we charge in, we'd be putting Sanson at risk. Uh, we need to help if we're going to save him. Come on, let's hurry back to Rudania to the Adder's Nest. All right, let's go home. Okay, so we caught up with Guide a lot. So, I just report the situation, and they're going to call a meeting to talk strategy. As for Gilbard's journal, I'm still holding on to it. Tell them it's for the chief to hand over. They were on to please, fancy that. Uh, you see, unlike our friend Sanson, I don't have much faith in the Order. I don't trust them to act in our best interest. The journals are one bargaining chip, not only with them, but uh, Norval besides. It would be good to bring our old... Uh, Jahan, Jahan fell, tell, um, into it as well. I think Jahan Tell was the guy who taught us to be a bard to begin with. He'd want to know, and might even have some sage advice to share. But for now, we sit tight, wait and see what the Order and Norval will do, and then we plan some doings of our own. Till then, rest up and save your strength, Mifri. Uh, we're gonna need it. Cool. And then the next quest is at level 70. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.